trivia is back. This week we'll be talking about scholarships, birthdays, and sports. Our investigating reporters have been doing their homework. Do you think it's beneficial? We'll find out your thoughts and a whole lot more starting now. Hello and welcome to Common TV. My name is Cassidy. Do you want to skip your semester exam? Don't forget students in grades 9 through 12 can qualify to be exempt from taking the semester test in a class when they have maintained at least a B average for the semester, have four or less unexcused absences, and have not been suspended from school. Semester grades will be determined by an average of the two quarters. Don't forget prom is May 3rd, so go ahead and show us what y'all working with. We want to make sure you have all the information you need for prom. Students who have four or fewer absences for the semester will get May 3rd, 2019 off for the activity to prepare for prom with no penalty. The Google Classroom code should appear on the screen now, and if you have any questions, please see Dr. Houston or Dr. Forte. Grand March will start at 7 p.m. and prom will begin at 8 p.m. On May 3rd at the Junior League of Little Rock, 401 Scott Street, the tickets are $30. 12th graders will only have till April 18th to turn in their then and now photos. We will need one photo of you when you were younger and another while you're in 12th. We are still doing our summative testing for 9th and 10th graders. The testing dates for next week will appear on the screen. We'll take a short break and be back after these messages. Thank you, Cassidy. On March 28, Mills High School Cheerleader Squad held their annual tryouts for the new Mills High School Varsity Cheerleaders 2019-2020. Take a look at your screen for the new cheerleaders. Make sure you tell the congratulations from us here at Common TV. And a special congrats to Kiana Stoley and Tasneem Majahed for making captain and co-captain. Welcome back to Life Face. My name is Shania. My name is Tasha. My name is John. Today we are talking about messy handwriters. Here are some tips for you. First thing first, you get two rubber bands. Not specifically the color, but here you go. You get the rubber band. You place it around your thumb and point finger. You take the pencil through the back and through the front. And then, it keeps the pencil in place so that you won't have to mess up. And this all from us, my pets. Any student who is taking the ACT Saturday, April 13th, remember to bring an ACT ticket and have a valid photo ID to be checked and allowed to test. The track team will be in North Little Rock on April 19th, so come and cheer them on. Ms. Davis, the media specialist, has some new books. Make sure to stop by the library to check them out. Gender equality, also known as sexual equality or equality of the sexes, is a state of equal ease of access to resources and opportunities regardless of gender. So what is your input on gender equality? What is your opinion? From what I see, some of the jobs, men are getting paid still more than some women for our government jobs, any kind of CEO, and especially when they run the business. Okay, um, my opinion or I guess experience of gender equality is where most, in most cases, um, prior to current times, uh, women didn't get the same treatment or same opportunities as men. I think everybody should be treated equal no matter what gender they are. I think it's very, gender equality is very important. I have a daughter and I, as well as sons. <laughs> And I would expect my daughter to do to make the same amount of money or to be treated just as fairly as my sons would on, on, on the job. Is now in the mo most current times, uh, gender equality could have something to do with people choosing a gender. So um, if they feel like another gender may be best suited for them, uh, that's another area of gender equality. Now let's hear from our common staffs and what's on the menu.
Please look at the screen and if you see a name that looks familiar to you, tell them happy birthday from us here at Comet TV. Email us your birthday wishes to mealscomingtv at gmail.com. couple scholarships to fill out for. Make sure you look at the screen and every week we will give you a scholarship that you need to apply for. Also, go to fastweb.com for more scholarship opportunities and ask your counselor for assistance with filling them out. Homework causes yet solves a lot of problems. But is the stress becoming too much? Should Mills ban homework? Students and faculty here on campus had a lot to say about the topic. Some people don't have time. Some people have to do chores, help their parents out. People got jobs. We're doing advanced work and we need to be able to do different things in class other than reading and gaining that knowledge that you get from the reading. You have to be able to start applying that knowledge to different things. And it causes stress on people. Because if we don't understand it at school, we ain't gonna understand it at home. Because it is very stressful. And that's practice. We practice and have homework for athletics. You practice daily. Uh, you have students who get strict coaches. You get all these things you need to do to hone your skills. So homework is just practice. But I'm doing it anyway. It's just bringing the over here. Do you have any hot topics you would like to see featured? Let us know at Comet TV. Thanks so much for watching. Hello and welcome to Comet TV, y'all. Bro. Okay. It keeps the pencil in place so that you won't have to mess up.